Hello, hello everyone. So let's uh, start this stream. I would like to uh, learn about the Sri Lankan history. I mean, uh, I would read about it. Because even me, I don't know a lot about it. So let's try. I will try to read about it. And share with you my opinion about it. So for now, let me wait for people to join the stream. Top chats. Okay. Somebody is already here. No, Terry. I think I need to sign in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am finally having a better internet. And I know uh, now I can stream very well. I mean, I was afraid that this internet is not that good. Finally, it's good. Sorry, I'm doing something. The program is asking me to do that. To connect my account. Oh, I need to... to do something with the phone. Yes, it's me. Okay. I think you see me very well. I hope so. And you hear me very well. Let me know about that. I am very fine. I'm just trying to set up everything here. Uh, I, I, I myself, I don't know a lot about uh, Sri Lankan history. Oh, already eight people watching. Great. Welcome, welcome to the show. Yeah, I myself, myself, I don't know a lot of about uh, Sri Lankan history. I mean, it was just, I don't know, chosen mostly a country chosen by my wife and it was easy to come here. Hello, Integral Blinds. Thank you very much for the support in PayPal. Uh, because, I mean, usually I don't uh, see who is supporting. That's huge support. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so uh, today I want to talk about the Sri Lankan history, plus, I mean, I uh, uh, want to read, because, I mean, I want to practice my, my English that way. But still, I mean, I record in English a lot, and uh, still my English is not that good. I mean, I use the word, for example, I mean a lot. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I will learn some pronunciations of words. Yes. Tell me, please, how you see me, how you hear me. Because uh, I have the fan here is very loud. Uh, the fan. And uh, I don't know, I'm like s supreming or deleting the noise. But I want to know how you hear me. Hello, hello. And I'm using the program, so it was like, I mean, I didn't use it for a long time, this program. Since I was streaming in Turkey, because I had like bad internet, now finally I have a good internet. Thanks to one of my subscribers. Uh, she's like, she's from Sri Lanka, but living in another country. And she uh, told me, 
I will send you the money to make a new internet. And I, I mean, that was a motivation for me to go and to make this uh, cable internet. So, so it was like uh, the same price, the almost the same money that was sent. And I was uh, very happy about that. Can't hear the fun audio is video picture are great. Yeah, it's nice because the audio the picture is from uh, from my phone and uh, the audio is from here and uh, everything is set up set up very well. Okay, so the history of Sri Lanka is interview <laughs> entered intertwined. Uh, I need a translator as well. Okay, let me check here a translator. I have a lot of uh, lot of uh, <laughs> tabs open. So let me create translator. Create, not create, but open. Ah, okay. I need to close other tabs. Ah, should do it before. Crazy. Okay. Hello, K. Cass. Welcome. Uh, so, the history of Sri Lanka is intertwined with the history of the bro broader Indian subcontinent. Yeah, I feel like. Uh, when they talk like something Indian, like I mean, in their language, maybe maybe it's similar. I don't know. Uh, it, the writing and the letters are not similar, I think, but the the sound like a uh, little bit similar. I hear it. I don't know if that's the case or not. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Uh, Indian subcontinent, okay, and the surrounding regions from Paris from. Com compromising the areas of South Asia, South uh, Southern Asia, and the Indian Ocean. Okay, the early human remain found on the island of Sri Lanka, date about twenty eight thousand years ago. Wow. <laughs> Maybe uh, the early people lived in Sh Sri Lanka. I don't know. Maybe we are all from Sri Lanka. <laughs> I don't know. Because, I mean, the Buddha, the Buddhism is so old religion. I mean, the enter um, winned, winned dream with mind. Okay. Uh, because, for example, the Buddhism is very old religion. And when they talk about, like, I mean, about the, uh, how are they call the temples, they say that uh, those temples are very old. I mean, like, uh, I don't know, built like in 500 BC or something like that. I mean, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's very, uh, they are very old. Um, and I believe that maybe really like, uh, uh, very uh, people lived here, I mean, for a long time, maybe, and especially they have I mean, everything, I mean, they have stable, how to say, like, I mean, weather always hot, I mean, it's always hot, and a lot of, uh, how to say, a lot of uh, uh, fruits and vegetables, people didn't need maybe to, I mean, to be protected from the, the, the cold, so they, 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 didn't, they didn't need a lot of clothes, maybe they didn't need fire as well, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, yes, tell me please if, I mean, I know the connection is good and uh, it's nice, but uh, if it's cutting or not, because, uh, I mean, when I had like the, the, um, the internet uh, of the mobile internet, so it was cutting a lot, yeah, so, anyway. I don't think, think it's cutting. Okay, the hi historical period begins roughly in the third century. Century. Okay, the third century. Anyway, it's uh, uh, after Christ. Based on Pali chronicle, like the Mahavansa. 
his Mahavans. Meticulously kept historical chronicle in Sri Lanka until the period of Mahasena. Mahasena. Uh, anyway, it's hard for me to pronounce the names here. And so sometimes I even like the towns and the cities when I pronounce, they laugh. Okay, it was written in the style of epic poem, written in the Pali language. It relates the history of Sri Lanka from its from its what? Ah, so I have to read the details. Okay, what is Dipavamsa? Dipavamsa is the oldest historical record of Sri Lanka. The chronicle is believed to be compiled from Atakata and other sources around the third. Fourth century, so it's I mean, only third fourth century. I thought I mean before. Together with the these, it's the source of many accounts of the ancient history of Sri Lanka and India. Okay, and the Kulavamsa. Kulavamsa is a historical record written in the Pali language of the mo monarch. Of Sri Lanka, it covers the period from the fourth century, eighteen fifteen. Was compiled over many years by Buddhist monks and displays a variety of epic styles. Okay, so as well, I mean, I want to read, and in case I mean you see like a bad pronunciation uh, of what I say, you can just correct me. I mean, I don't mind. I would like to to be corrected. And I would like to improve my English. I mean, that may even help me to to build my channel and maybe to create another channel to, I mean, some informative channel or channel of ideas uh, of, I don't know, anything to, I mean, to make it grow faster or to have another additional source of income. Mm. Yeah, or or just to, for my future, maybe I will be using that skill in some work. Or who knows, maybe in the future I will go to uh, an English-speaking country. I don't know. Anyway, so they describe the history since the arrival of Prince Via... 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 Via, via I think. I know, it's uh, something... Uh, Sri Lankan, so maybe I could be mistaken about the pronunciation. Hello, last one. Nice to see you. According to the Mahavansa Chronicle, Prince Vijaya or Vijara, Vijaya, Vijaya, Vijaya was the first recorded king in Sri Lanka. Although there is no archaeological evidence. Prove, proving uh, proving this L legends are reports from both Indian and Sri Lankan sources say that he along with several hundreds of followers came to Sri Lanka okay so they have like a legendary king this one maybe it's I don't know if he really exists or not uh, from North India, okay. The it's interesting if before India and Sri Lanka they were together or not. I mean, maybe it was one kingdom. I don't know. From North India, uh, the earliest document of settlement in the island are found in these chronicles. These chronicles cover the period since the establishment of the kingdom of. Tambapani, Kim, Kingdom of Tambapani, was the first Sinhalese kingdom in Sri Lanka. Its administrative center was based in at Tambampani. It exists between 543 BC. BC it's after Christ, and 437 BC. BC. What is BC? I don't remember. According to the Mahavansa, the king was founded by Prince Vijaya and his followers. 
okay the uh, sixth century so I, I don't know why they don't write here about uh, what uh, what was before the christ you know it wasn't discovered or what i don't know okay in the sixth century bce by the earliest ancestors of sinhalis ah, so they have other people but those are ancestors okay the first sri lankan ruler of this kingdom padukan bahaya is recorded for the first bc before christ ah before christ yeah so before christ 500 uh, years before christ yes okay i mean only that time like it, the sri lanka was di discovered discovered uh only 500 uh, years before christ i don't know uh is recorded for the first century okay buddhism was introduced in the third century bc third century bc that means third century after christ or before his third century before bce what is bce uh, i don't know okay the third century buddhism was in the third century like 300 300 before christ 300 years before christ okay by arthath by arhath mahinda before common era before common era i have to be a professional in history to, to understand what i'm reading what is before common era before christ oh my god i am not educated in this before common era georgian calendar before the common era yeah but before the common era but but what does it mean what is common era common era it's uh, the birth of christ okay let me let me educate myself here many people using hmm, i'm talking about huge numbers what they mean uh okay before christ I mean, what's the difference between BC and BCE? Is it the same? BC and BCE is the same thing as BC. Okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, now I know. BCE and BC is the same though. Okay. By, but, I mean, why Buddhism was introduced by Arhath Mahinda, but not by Buddha? And it's son of the Indian Emperor Ashoka. Ah, I mean, maybe they mean that Buddhism uh, wasn't burned, I mean, wasn't born here in uh, Sri Lanka, but it was introduced by this guy. So he came to Sri Lanka and he introduced Buddhism. It seems that that's what they mean. Yeah. Uh, modern times after antiquity, are they say? Okay, before common era, modern time, antiquity, antiquity considered before Christ. Okay. Uh, so this guy, Arhath Mahinda, introduced the Buddha to the Buddhism to Sri Lanka. Okay. The island was divided into numerous kingdoms okay oh i mean even like sri lanka is so little and it was divided over the following centuries uh intermediately between ce what is ce <laughs> oh my god i'm not good at it they wrote here what is ce ce after christ maybe why would they not write just A, C, like after Christ, and B, C, before Christ? What is C? C is an abbreviation of common era. It means the same as A, D. Ah, no. 
Domini represents the time from the verse. Maybe Anno Domini is the, 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 the first year, maybe. It's common era. So, common era is. Be, if they called it uh, AC, it would be maybe better after Christ. Anyway, okay. Okay, common era. Common era, that means the time we live in. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, where I was. I mean, the, 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 the history maybe is boring to a lot of people, but <laughs> for me it's interesting. Includes the medieval era. C used to be called AD. AD. After D what? Ah, A Anno Domio. Latin after Christ. Ah, it's Latin after Christ. Okay. Uh, okay, where we stopped? I remember about Buddhism. The Buddhism was interesting. Okay. The island was divided into numerous kingdoms over the following centuries. In Inter intermittently, 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 directly maybe. Okay, let's check the translator right here. Ah, okay, with uh, breaks uh, between nine hundred and uh, one thousand, united under polar rule. I know that. Yeah, we are all learning. The cola, the cola or chola, chola maybe, chola cons, con, conquest and occupation of Anuradhapura kingdom was a military invasion of the kingdom of Anuradhapura by the Chola Empire. It can be seen as an ensuing conflict between Chola and Sinhalese kings after the initial conflict between Chola and the Pandi. Ah, you are a history geek. Good. I am not good. I, I wasn't good that <laughs> in the history. I mean, uh, I always had the problem to... Uh, usually in the history, they don't teach us a history. I don't know. When I learned about history in russia when i was a little like uh, four years living in russia i i remembered all the what they teach us but when i went to algeria they weren't teaching us they wanted us only to uh, to to remember by heart like uh, just to read i mean to write we were writing all the time then we were asked about what we wrote i mean that's what was the education that i mean and uh, I hated that because I mean they don't didn't explain a lot, but they write a lot and they make us remember everything we wrote. I mean, I mean it's uh, by heart. It's not by understanding. It wasn't by understanding, and that's why I mean uh, I wasn't good at uh, the history. I ha hated that. Uh, I liked the way where I mean before when I was in Russia, little they teach us teach taught us uh, the history in terms of story or something not to like remember it by heart I mean uh, and I always hated it <laughs> I always hated it uh, because it was hard for me to remember all the events and everything sometimes uh, the, the teacher can make you hate the subject okay Sri Lanka was ruled by 181 monarchs from the Anna the Pura to Kandi periods. Oh, Kandi is already like uh, uh, familiar to me. Kandi is uh, a city here, the big city, famous one. Kandi period. Kandi, maybe it's a human as well. Kandi, I heard too. What? Human. It's. Is someone with such name? Yeah, this is like the city in Sri Lanka, but it looks like a name as well. Anyway, so Wikipedia they don't uh, 
consider that Christian era. Oh, Christian era. CE. That's more logical. <laughs> um, they don't have, usually they have clickable here. I want to see something about candy here. Anyway, from the 16th century, some coastal area areas of the country were also controlled by the Portuguese. So, like, Sri Lanka was controlled by Portuguese. I heard that before here. Uh, it was controlled then by Dutch, by German people, then by British people. How far is Kendi from Dihiwala? Ah, uh, about maybe 70 kilometers or something. 70, I mean, about 100. Then. Uh, not that far. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 116 kilometers. Okay. Something like that. Uh, because the Sandev is from Sri Lanka, so he knows more, better than me. Uh, where I stopped. Okay, by Dutch and British. Between 1597 and 16... Uh, 57... Uh, 58... Uh, a substantial part of the island was under Portuguese rules. Okay. Uh, I didn't know like that Portugal before that they invaded other countries. I mean, I was hearing like France... Britain, yeah, only like in, uh, I didn't know, because in Algeria, I know that uh, Algeria was invaded by France, and I knew before that uh, Brit British uh, people also, they invaded others, but I didn't know that about Dutch and about Portuguese, especially Portuguese, I mean, Portuguese, they invaded, okay. The Portuguese lost their possessions in Ceylon due to Dutch intervention. Okay. What is Ceylon? C standard for common. Okay. Uh, what's Ceylon? I mean, I hear this a lot. British Ceylon was British. Crown colony. Ah, it's a kind of colony because they have a lot of Ceylon. Ceylon, Ceylon is in the names of uh, of some stores. I see the word Ceylon here a lot. Okay, to the Dutch intervention in the 80 years war. Wow, 80 years of war. Following the Candian War. So this is the Candian War. Kandian War refers generally to the period of war warfare between the British colonial forces and the Kingdom of Kandy. Ah, yeah, Kandy, it's like, I mean, like, I think they uh, fight British people there in that place. And they, they get the re revolution from there. It's maybe that's why Kandy is important. Uh, Okay, refer generally to the period of war faced between the British colonial forces and the Kingdom of Kandy of the island uh, of what is now Sri Lanka between 1796 and 1818. More speci specifically, it is used to describe the e expeditionary campaign of the British army in the kingdom. Okay. Uh, Pop divide the control of undiscovered lands between Spain and Portugal. Portugal controlled the eastern hemisphere while Spain controlled the western hemisphere. Okay. It's the original name of Sri Lanka. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. What is Sri Lanka? Ah, you mean like the candy is origin name of Sri Lanka or Ceylon? Ah, Ceylon maybe. Ceylon, what? What is Sri Lanka? Yeah, by the way, it's like magical land, I think. Something like that. Sri Lanka. 
What is Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka from a Ceylon island country like I think Sri it's magical and Lanka it's land or something or the, or the opposite something like that Sri Lanka treasure I think it's magical land something like that. I heard about that my my wife told me I think anyway uh, Ceylon is the former name of Sri Lanka. The country was renamed Sri Lanka in 1972. Whoa! Oh, just recently. Oh, okay. I mean, recently, if you we talk about the history. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, following the Kandian War, the island was united under British rule in 1815. So, the island was still called Ceylon. Ceylon. Okay, 1815. Armed uprising against the British took place in the 1818 Uva Rebellion, Great Rebellion of 1817-1818, also known at, at the 1818 Uva Wellassa Rebellion, was the third Candian War in the Uva and Wellassa provinces of the former kingdom of Kandy, Kandy, which is totally the Uva province of Sri Lanka, the rebellion started against the British colonial government. Okay, and 1848, Metal Re Rebellion. The Metal Rebellion, also known as the Rebellion of 18. 44 or 48 took place in Matal City, Ceylon, against British colonial government and their governor George Bing, 7th Viscount Torrington. It marked a transition from the classic fodal from the anti colonial revolt to modern independence struggle. I mean, I understand very well the independence of Sri Lanka because I am Algerian and I learned a lot about uh, the independence of Algeria because I mean and I know the effect of the colonialism I mean uh, it's very bad uh, they killed for example in Fran uh, France they killed a lot of Algerian people like I mean about more than 1 million people uh, they uh, ruled the country about uh, 100 years uh, and uh, and they even like uh, changed their culture uh, because of that invasion a lot of algerians still never i mean there are like old algerians who still never visited the school they don't know i mean they don't how, know how to write how to to read i mean there are such people exist maybe i mean you I mean, from European country or from America or Canada or Australia or I mean, uh, even people from Russia, they, they think that uh, such people doesn't exist at all. No, I mean, they they still exist and uh, they could, I mean, never, uh, I mean, they don't know how to read or how to, uh, how to write. Uh, and that's because of the invasion, because when... Uh, in the invasion, during the invasion, they didn't let them uh, study. I mean, studying was only like for f f fancy, and they kind of destroyed their their culture. Then that's why I mean, it destroyed their language. That's why you see, like uh, in, uh, for example, the Algerian language, they you you not you don't see it like uh, pure Arabic or something. It's uh, mixed between French and Arabic language. That's the the effect of. Uh, colonialism yeah French and Algeria hello Lisa hello everyone who joined it ancient Romans called Sri Lanka Tap Roban ancient Arabs called it Serandib Serandib okay uh, okay the island where I was here independence was finally granted in 1984 but the country remained a dominion 
dominion. Dominion between 1948 uh, and 1972, Ceylon was an independent country in the Commonwealth of Nations that shared a monarch, monarch with other dimin dominions of the Commonwealth, Commonwealth in 1948. Uh, I'm tired. The British colony of Ceylon was granted independence as Ceylon. Ceylon. In 1972 the country became a, a republic with okay became a republic of the british empire until 1972 yeah so 19 dominion still don't understand what is dominion maybe it was dominated by british empire till 1972 yeah yeah, because sometimes I saw, like in, like in, for example, in Algeria, I don't know about Sri Lanka, but in Algeria, for example, they, they oh, battery. The Algeria, in Algeria, for example, I sometimes think that they never took independence because, I mean, uh, most of, for example, like technical education is in French. Um, in educated, uh, how to say, in educated, uh, among educated people, if you don't know French, that means you are, I mean, uh, not respected. I mean, if you don't French, you don't know French, you are that, that not respected in this society. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as you said, like most technical, like even medicine, it's fully in, in French. Um, all technical uh, or technical um, how to say specialties are in French uh, like there are some companies that they can write only in French I mean uh, like all the documents etc so I don't know <laughs> what kind of independence is that anyway uh, it's fascinating listening to Snoozy Thank you, Terry Lane. Uh, okay. Uh, so, 1972, Sri Lanka assumed the status of a rep republic. Of a republic, so 1972. And Algeria took the independence like in 1963, I think. Okay. Sri Lanka assumed the status of a republic. And like the the year also of independence of such countries are so similar that means something <laughs> okay a constitution was introduced in, uh, introduced in 1978 which made the ex ex executive president the head of the state the sri lankan civil war began in 1983 i don't know i mean oh my god they, they couldn't like mean rest in peace i mean or, or like uh, they took independence mostly like in 1972 and just about i mean oh my god just about uh, 10 years i mean 10 11 years after 10 11 years the so civil war uh, again came here and it's crazy the sri lankan civil war began Okay, let me read a little bit about civil war. I don't see. Move this. Civil war. Okay, the Sri Lankan civil war was a civil war fought in Sri Lanka from 1983 to 2009. Wow. Like a long time. Almost 30, 30 years, you can say. Beginning on the 23... July 1983 it was an intermittent insurgency against the government by the Vilupilai Prabhakaran led liber liberation tigers of Tamil okay okay the I don't know a lot of about civil war here but 
least some ideas. Anyway. Okay, the Algerian War of Independence lasted from 1954 to 1962. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, the French, they ruled Algeria a long time. The Dominion of Ceylon. Ceylon had its own independence government from British, yet our monarch was still Queen Elizabeth. Example, Canada, New Zealand. Yeah. Gun and roses. What is he about? Right. Yeah, gun and roses. They have good songs. Okay. Mm, where I stopped? Uh, okay. Here began civil war began in 1983, including insurrections in 1971 and 1987 insurrections this is the word i don't understand okay. gun and rose i wish i wish could uh ah insurrections is like okay like revolution okay uh I wish I we, I could put some music in uh, in YouTube. <laughs> uh, this copyright. Okay. Including insurances in 1971 and 1987, with the five 25 year long civil war ending in 2009. I'm just recently, 2009, like. Uh, I'm not <laughs> 19 and 23 that means 10 plus 4 13 years only 13 years before yeah it's good that it ended after so I mean 13 uh, 13 years at least of uh, like they have 13 years now and before they had also like about 10 years yeah, so they are enjoying the independence just about, you can say, 20 years the total. Because the civil war, it's also not independent, not, I mean, the peace, enjoying the peace for that time. Yeah, crazy. There are, there was an attempted coup, coup. what is coup? Coup d'etat, ah, in French. Coup d'état. I heard this uh, this uh, expression. Coup d'état, also known as a coup, coup of an overthrow. Ah, coup d'état. It's like uh, okay, it's against. Uh, yeah, when they change the ruler. Overthrow. It's uh, seizure. What is seizure? And removal removal of a government and its powers typically it's an illegal seizure of power by a political faction politician rebel rebel group military or a dictator many scholars consider a coup successful okay anyway coup d'etat i know this expression in french uh, in 1962, against the government and their under, my wife always, always teaching me to say under, because I used to say under, it's in French, uh, okay, under, Sirimavo, Sirimavo, Pendar Nike, Sirimavo looks like, like Russian or something. So, who is Sirimavo? Uh, Sirima Ratuante Diaz Bandaraneiki. Oh, even this, like, there is Bandarenka in, in Russian also. Commonly known as Simi uh, Sirimavo Bandaraneiki was a Sri Lankan politician. She was a 
the world first female prime minister when she became prime minister of Sri Lanka in 1960. She chaired the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. Okay. It's nice. It's nice when you see like the woman. Woman was like so important, played a very important role in uh, some political event. It's very nice. I went to French sometimes. Yeah, I mean, uh, even today I was recording a video. I said the word imposed and uh, I asked my wife I, because I said impose <laughs> in a French way. And she was, I mean, very, uh, very angry. She said, well, you, you are saying impose. Why? I mean, it's, uh, it's Fr English. It's not French, but I mean, it's hard to like. Uh, mm. I mean, the first language mostly wasn't English for me. Like, uh, the English language was for me the fourth language learned. So, of course, I mean, I will make such, uh, I don't know, mistakes. Anyway, prehistory. Evidence of human colonization in Sri Lanka ap appears at the site of Balangoda. Balangoda men arrived on the island about... Oh, this is the, the history I want. The prehistory. Balangoda men arrived on the island about 125,000 years ago and has been identified as Missiolik Hunter gatherer who lived in caves several of these caves including the well-known Bata Domalenda and the Fahi cave have yielded many art artifacts from these people who are currently in the first known inhabitant of the island okay my wife is frying something Ah, water. Oh, that's right. Uh, or I wear. Yielded many uh, artifacts from these people. Yielded. Yield. I heard this uh, expression in the. The. Something related to cryptocurrency and investment yield okay, yielded many artifacts from these people who are currently the first known inhabitant of the island. Okay, Balangoda man probably probably created Hawthorne Plains. What is Hawthorne Plains? Ah, parks. Let me check. Horton Plains. Horton Plains National Park is a national park in the central highlands in Sri Lanka that was designed in 1988. It's, it is located at an elevation of 2010, uh, 2100, 2300 meters, and encompasses mountain. Mount, mountain grassland and cloud forest a kind of park uh, Bang Bl Balangoda man is a type of the early human that uh, lived in Sri Lanka between okay those years they were named after the Balangoda region of Sri Lanka where their fossils were first found okay mm where I stopped um, oh, okay here in the central hills by burning the trees in I mean like for example here I was saying I mean talking about uh, the independence and everything for example I still see I mean most of the uh, 
the names of the streets are in English here. Yeah. Uh, there's, I mean, it's good that there is like the English language everywhere and everything, but uh, I mean, still, I mean, they kept most of the, the yeah, the name of the the towns and the big cities are different, but I mean, the addresses are mostly with English names, like I mean, Hill Street and everything. I mean, the the one I remember, and a lot of. Uh, Addresses are in English. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay. In the central hills by burning the trees in order to catch game. However, the discovery of Oat and Burley on the plains at about 15,000 BCE suggests that our, our, our agriculture had already developed at this early date. Okay, several mint granite tool about four centimeter in length, 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 length. I don't know how to read this word. Uh, earthenware remnants of charred timber and clay burial pots date i mean i, I need someone to correct me <laughs> human remains dating to 6000 bce have been discovered during recent excavations around a cave at warana raja maha vihara and in the Kalatuawa area. Okay, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay, this cinnamon is native to Sri Lanka and has been found in ancient in ancient Egypt. Yeah, cinnamon is very famous also in Arabic countries. Hello, Jean. Hello, everyone who joined. Um, okay, uh, in early. 1500 BC, suggesting early trade between Egypt and the island inhabitant. By the way, I mean, uh, they say now that, that they had trade between Sri Lanka and Egypt. And you may, I mean, I already said like about that maybe in the video, but I will say it again. They don't have the Algerian embassy in Sri Lanka. And I, when I looked why, uh, the reason because they don't have any relations, I mean, between Algeria and Sri Lanka, it was, I mean, it was, I was very surprised because, I mean, I was walking here uh, in a place, I was in, uh, like, in a place where the, it was Moroccan, Morocco, it's even far, more further than Algeria, and it was like a Moroccan embassy. And I thought, oh, let's let me check if the, there is like an Algerian embassy in Sri Lanka. There is no um, Algerian Sri embassy in Sri Lanka. It's I mean, crazy. I, I thought all the countries have um, have embassies everywhere. In India, they have. Yeah. In Al Russia, they have. In Sri Lanka, Algeria. Unfortunately, there is currently no embassy of Algeria in Sri Lanka. Oh my god, I mean, I was surprised. As the official representative, because I need to check my passport, I'm not sure if it's still valid or not. Because when I get the Russian citizenship, they asked me to, I mean, to deny my Algerian passport, and I sent the letter to the embassy, and I am not sure, because people from Algeria, they said, that's like a practice, but they ignore that letters, and you are still Algerian. And I asked one of my friend, uh, my relatives in Algeria, and he said that I am still Algerian. I mean, and I don't know. I mean, <laughs> still, I'm not sure about that. I have the passport, and it's valid passport, but uh, I don't know if they cancelled it or not. But I didn't have the chance to go to Algerian embassy in uh, in Turkey, and I wanted to go to because I ha had some time. I wanted to go. <laughs> Uh, I think New Delhi Embassy is also the Algerian Embassy in Sri Lanka. New Delhi, but New Delhi in, 
India, I mean, I, so I have to go to to go with the visa to India. I mean. <sighs> anyway, can you inquire online? Ah, maybe yeah, maybe I have to write them an email or something. Maybe. The British used all to always call Sri Lanka Ceylon. I mean, till now they call, call it Ceylon. Anyway, I was very surprised to, to not find like Algerian. I'm sure like maybe e Egyptian. Egypt embassy in Sri Lanka. There is one. Moroccan. There is one. Tunisia. Tunisia, Colombo is located. There is one. I mean, all the, the embassies are in the Sri Lanka, but not not Algerian one. Ah, crazy. I, I am that lucky. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, where I was. The ancient Egypt. Okay. Suggesting early trade between Egypt and the island. Island inhabitant. It is possible that biblical tar... Tarshish was located in the island. I don't know what that. Uh, Tarshish occur to the Hebrew Bible with several and certain meaning. Most frequently as a place far across the sea from Phoenicia and the land of Israel. Okay. Algeria has a number of other embassies in the region including embassies in India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. These embassies can provide consular service to Algerian citizens living in Sri Lanka. That means they have to go to India. Yeah, maybe I have to contact them like via email, maybe. Britain used to be like Russia today, maybe worse. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, if we talk about French, uh, France and what they did to Algerian people, I mean, uh, <laughs> it was horrible. Mm, uh, okay. The proto-historic early Iron Age appeared to have established itself in South India by at least as early as... Uh, 1200 BC, if not earlier. The earliest manifestation of this in Sri Lanka is radiocarbon dated to 1000 BC, 800 BC at Anaradhapura. Still hard for me to pronounce <laughs> these names. And Aligala. Shelter in Sigiria. Ah, Sigiria, it's well known uh, uh, touristic place here they have. Um, okay, is this. Uh, it is very likely that further investigations will push back the Sri Lankan lower boundary to match that of South India. I didn't understand. Okay, during the proto-historic period, Sri Lanka was culturally united with southern India and shared the same... Oh, as I said, like India and Sri Lanka was the same time, the same thing. United with southern India and shared the same megalithic burials, pottery, iron technical, uh, Sigiria was a kingdom as well. I mean, uh, uh, the, uh, the kingdoms that they had in Sri Lanka was like were very little. I mean, Sri Lanka itself is a little country. I mean, and they had many kingdoms. Interesting. Maybe the kingdom didn't consist a lot of people before. Like people get used to that. 
France still one of the largest powers in the world with possessions of Canada and throughout to the Pacific Rim. I see. Okay. Uh, I always lose, lose where I was somewhere here. Ah, uh, okay. D during this period, Sri Lanka was culturally, cu culturally, ah, this culturally united with the southern India and shared the same megalithic burials. I don't know what's that. Po pottery, black and red wire is a South Asian earth. Earthenware associated with the Neolithic phase. I mean, last one, you said that you are a geek of history. What's pottery? Iron technology, farming technique, and megalithic graffiti. Okay. This culture complex spread from southern India along with Dravidian clans such as the valor so something beautiful yeah they have a lot of these uh, beautiful things still now exists very nice the valor were a royal house of minor dynastic kings okay prior to the migration of prakrit speakers are practice speakers okay it's not clear here okay wait maybe some old language archaeological evidence for the beginning of the iron age in sri lanka is found at Anarudhapura. It's a major city located in north central plain of Sri Lanka. It is the capital city of north central province, Sri Lanka, and the capital uh, Nuradhapura district. The city lies 205 kilometers north of the current capital of Colombo in the north central province. Okay. Where a large city settled, settlement was found before 900 BC. The settlement was about 15 hectares in 900 BC, but by 700 BC it had expanded to 50 hectares. A similar site from the same period has also been discovered near Aligala in Sigiria. Okay. The hunter-gatherer people known as this who still live in the central Yuva and northeastern part of the island are probably the direct descendants of the first inhabitants, Balangoda men. They may have migrated to the island from the mainland around the time humans spread from Africa. To the Indian subcontinent. They may have migrated to the island from the mainland around the time humans spread. Do they mean that all humans are coming from Africa? I mean, like people who came to these places, from they are from Africa? I don't get it. How did they create such artistry? with primitive tools uh that's a good question yeah yeah they, they have a lot of artistic stuff here i mean i showed it in my videos a lot i have no idea uh, we always know ceylon as being pretty good for tea even now we can buy ceylon tea ceylon tea yes it's very Famous. Ah, that's why. I mean, Ceylon, it's uh, Sri Lanka. Okay. Ceylon tea. Yeah, it's very famous. Okay. Later, Indo Aryan migrants developed a unique head 
hydraulic civilization also known as the hydraulic dispotium okay it's a social or government structure with maintains power and control through executive control over access to water okay name it sinhala uh, sinhale it's their language here I mean, their main language uh indo aryan migrants okay so people from Hindu, that means from India, I don't know. they immigrate here. Their achievement include the construction of the largest reserv reservoirs. I said it in French. Reservoirs. <laughs> My wife is not listening. Reservoir is something like reserve from the word reserve. And dams of the ancient world as well as enormous pyramid like stupa oh they have kind of pyramid i have to find them ah in buddhism they have like this in temples in buddhism a stupa is a mound like or hemisphere structure contain relics that is used as a place of meditation oh nice okay dagaba dagaba in sinhala sinhala language sinhala sometimes called sinhalese is an indo-aryan language primarily spoken by the sinhalese people of sri lanka who make up the largest ethnic group on the island yeah they have also tamil i think tamil people they have their own language as well Numbering about 16 million. Sinhala is also spoken as the first language by other ethnic group. We have to try some of that. Uh, Sri Lanka population. Oh, so Sri Lanka population is 22 million. And people who speak Sinhalese, Sinhalese are how much he said here lost it all Okay. 16 million. Okay. It means more than half speaks in Hadith. Okay. This phase of Sri Lankan culture may have seen the introduction of early Buddhism. It's good also to read about Buddhism. Buddhism also known as Buddha Dharma and Dharmavinaya is an Indian religion. Oh, it's an Indian religion. Or philosophical tradition based on the teaching attributed to the Buddha. It's originated uh, in present day North India as Sramana movement in the 5th century BC. And okay. Ah, so strange. Sometimes it, I read that Buddhism is very old. Now I read it's uh, from the 5th century. I don't know if uh, Buddhism is older than Christianity or not. Let's look for that. Buddhism. Buddhism is one of the world's largest religions and originated 200, 2,500 years ago in India. That means uh, before Christ's, what they are saying. The face of Sri Lanka okay. uh, is an Indian religion, philosophical tradition based on the Chicken. Okay, it's originated in present day North India and okay. 
strange. Okay. Early history recorded in Buddhist scriptures refers to three visits by the Buddha to the island to see the Naga people. Naga people are believed by some to be an ancient tribe who once inhabited Sri Lanka and various parts of South, southern India. Uh, shakes that can take the form of uh, a human at will. Okay. The earliest surviving chronicle from the island, the Divamsa and the Mahavamsa. Okay. Those are historical chronicles. Okay. Say that these are broad class of nature spirits nagas people are believed by someone to be ancient tribe okay and these divas diva are a mythical people of sri lanka according to the sanskrit epics according to the they have a lot of legends they have a lot of mythical people it's interesting to read about them maybe to watch movies because I'm better at watching videos, or I mean, uh, rather than reading. I don't. I am not a good reader. Are there any statue representing the death of Buddha? Mm, I didn't see, but I saw uh, a very interesting statue presenting the um, how to say you can say the starving of Buddha. Okay, let me check. I remember I streamed in a, a place where, I mean, most of the Buddha is um, is represented as a, a normal human being. I mean, and this uh, uh, place where I visited it it has a statue of buddha who was like starving maybe i mean um like for this this is this is the statue this is you see in most of the uh how to say in most of the statue buddha you see you see him like i mean doing well in uh, term of I mean, his condition, but here uh, I recorded. I even I didn't know. I I mean, it didn't look like a Buddha. I I was like surprised, and I asked people. They said like uh, it's Buddha when he was starving. I mean, uh, he was uh, not uh, eating a lot, just like to to reach some state, uh, and he was starving. And this only statue I saw where he looks like very, very skinny. And in other statue, he looks like, I mean, fine, just fine. Yeah. Look at him. Very skinny. That's the study I saw and I recorded. I had stream in that place. Yeah, but uh, dead, I think also dead there is. When it's laying, like, statue, Buddha, When it's laying, like this, when you see it, like when you see him like this, there are a lot of statue like this when he's laying like this. Yeah, there are. So they say that, that uh, in uh, such situation. He wasn't alive, I mean, in those uh, streams. I think I have also a stream where uh, I have uh, Buddha laying like this. I think in this place, if I remember well. Here? Ah, no, not here. We, in Gali, in Gaul, we were in Gaul. Okay, I don't remember exactly which one. 
but there is yeah he, he was fasting okay buddha usually is shown with the big belly that is an interesting statue yeah very interesting okay um where i stopped some somewhere here okay now another period let me check how how long i am streaming oh okay don't forget to push the like button so it will help me a little bit maybe more people will join the stream thank you for those who are here for for those who are watching uh okay the pali chronicle the dipavamas dipavamsa is the oldest historical record of sri lanka this uh me particularly kept historical chronicle and cro chronicles okay as well as large collection of the stone inscriptions the india epigraphical records the burmese version of the Crino chronicle etc provide information on the history of sri lanka from about 6th century bc Okay. The Mahavansa, the Mahavansa, written around 400 CE by the monk Mahanama, using the Deepavamsa, the Atakatha, and other written sources available to him, correlated well with Indian histories uh, of the period. Indeed, Emperor Ashoka. Ashoka popularly known as Ashoka the Great and also referred to uh, Chakravartin Samrat Ashoka was the third Mauryan emperor of Magadha in the Indian subcontinent during 200 I think 200 BC okay uh where i stopped this okay th there are a lot of names here that i don't understand uh, it's hard to, for me to pronounce so this account of the period prior to asoka coronation 218 years after the buddha death seems to be part legend Proper historical records begin with the arrival of Vijaya. We remember, like, Vijaya is kind of the king. king. His 700 followers from Vanga. Vanga. A detailed description of the dynastic accounts from Vijaya time is provided okay a lot of words <laughs> i mean vanga i don't know what is vanga what they mean by vanga here but vanga it's uh, a famous woman that was like predicting the future this this woman i don't know it's very famous he, she's very famous was very famous in russia i don't know if she is or not perhaps eat pizza here and it will rain okay Combining mm -hmm. his person to conquest of ancient Sri Lanka, Vijaya is an Indian prince, prince, the eldest of son King Sinhabahu, and his sister Queen Sinhasivali. Both these Sinhalese leaders were born of a mythical union between a lion and human princess. The Mahavansa states that Vijaya landed in the same day as the death of the Buddha. Okay. The story of G Vijaya and Kuveni is reminiscent of Greek legend and may have a common source of ancient proto indo european folk tales. You see, maybe this uh, guy also European. 
According to the Manhavansa, Vijaya landed on Sri Lanka near Mahanthisa. Okay. And, or, and named on the island. Okay. This name is arrested by Ptolemy. Map in the ancient world. The Mahavansa also described, described that Buddha visiting Sri Lanka three times. Firstly, to stop a war between a Naga king and his son in law who were fighting over a rabbi chair. It is said that on his last visits, he left his foot mark on Sri Shri Pada, Adam's Peak. Oh. Adam speak. It's interesting. The big belly Buddha and the historical Buddha are two different figures. Ah, the big belly Buddha, also known as Buddha, laughing Buddha, is a popular figure in Chinese culture. Oh, that's another Buddha. Adam Peak of Sri Lanka is 2,200 meter tall. Chronicle, a uh, conical, sacred mountain located in central Sri Lanka. Mm. Uh, Tami, okay, in the old name of the second lo longest river in Sri Lanka. Tamirabhanrani. Why we remember Mississippi? <laughs> Mississippi. But we don't remember Tamira Baharani. Okay. Um, this river was main supply route connection the capital Anuradhapura. The waterway was used by Greek and Chinese ships traveling the South Silk Route. Mahathir was an ancient port linking Sri Lanka to India and the Persian Gulf. Gulf. The present-day Sinhalese are a mixture of the Hindu Aryans and the indigenous. The Sinhalese are recognized as a district ethnic group from other groups in the na a neighboring South India based on the Indo Aryan language culture. Theravanda Buddhism, genetics, and the physical anthropology. Okay. Draws condition complete opposites here. Okay. This time 300 BC. Okay, can I read all that? <laughs> A lot of uh, history. Yeah, I just want to train a little bit with my English, but I'm not good at history. Yeah. Crisis of 16th century. Yeah, it's very long. Very big history. Better, better maybe to watch a movie. I will read the the recent one. Ah, the independence maybe. Oh no, independence movement is also a lot. Second World War, how they participated. Sri Lanka was frontline British based against the Japanese during World War Two. Oh, so they used like Sri Lanka, like to front line. Yeah. Good. I mean, not good. I mean, like, the, like good for them. Like invading a country and pushing them to fight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's good to read the history because each country could could have its. Uh, Pros and cons. You know how it is the greatest lake. F f okay. Anyway, 
how long? One hour and a half. Okay, maybe let me read about the independence because the the early history is very long. But I need some water. Okay, let me because the, the independence is sweet. Independence. Indigos are native people. Okay, independence. The Sinhalis leader Don Stefan Sinayaki left the CNC of the issue of independence, disagreeing with the re revised aim of the achieving of freedom, although his real reasons were more subtle. From what years were they under British rule? 1776-1984 Oh my god, more than the French invaded Algeria uh, Like... Uh, yeah, almost 200 years, something like that It's a lot, 170 years, something like that the Sinhalis are an incontacted tribe living in North Sentinel Island, one of the Adam Island. They vigorously reject all contact with outsiders. Sentinels. Ah, Sentinels. Not Sinhalis. Okay. Okay, so this leader, he sub, I mean, what to do, what to do to improve my reading skill. Maybe I have to read often like this, but I need someone to correct me. Yeah. He subsequently formed the United Nations Party when a new constitution was agreed on based on the behind the curtain lobby lobbying of the Solbury Commission at the election of 1947 the UNP won a minority of seats in parliament but cobbled, cobbled together a coalition with the Sinhala Maha Sabha Party of Solomon and Tamil Congress. Okay. The successful inclusion of the Tamil communalist leader and his Sinhalis counterparts were a remarkable political balancing act by this one. The vacuum in Tamil nationalist politics created by yeah, I mean, as usual, like the leaders, they are safe, and uh, people who are, I mean, who are like citizens, they pay for what crazy leaders do. I mean, I don't know. This is, those are the wars. I don't, I mean, the same about civil wars, and I think all created by the leaders that are mostly safe usually yeah anyway it's a long history and nice to learn about that and you can read i will leave you the link i think it's easy to find in your wikipedia anyway i'll leave the link 
for reference. And that's it about this uh, history. I'm a little bit tired. Uh, the British initially arrived in Sri Lanka in 1796, but the island came under formal British rule in 1815. Yeah, the same about uh, for French, like 1830. They uh, start ruling Algeria. Uh, following the si 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 signing of the Canadian conversation. Yeah, another few visits and I will have enough rocks to build a large house. Yeah, so I think that's it about this stream. It was just an idea that I had. I want to stream about yeah like this stream just to support me like my videos watch my videos and uh, you can support through paypal if you want and that's it i mean i wanted also to test my new connection so it's good so i can stream i can show things i can uh, i mean do a lot of things the speed is nice Test like 100, 100, something like 100 or something uh, megabyte per second, 45 megabyte, not 75 megabytes per second. It's a good speed of the internet here, yeah. so it's nice and. Uh, I will be streaming more often now. I just have to come with ideas, different ideas. And I can stream bot. Because not like, I mean, the internet from the phone, it's very horrible. Yeah, I just sent people to you and you get it. Yeah, thank you very much, Gene. That's very nice from you. Yeah, and uh, that's it. I will come always with interesting ideas to stream bot. And thank you for watching, see you in my next video, see you in my next streams, and I wish you all the best, and thank you very much for the support and for being around. Have a good day, have a good night, and good evening, evening, it depends on where you are. Yeah. Okay, goodbye everyone, I remember, <laughs> I forget to look at the phone. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you.